Hey, this is Andy Larson, your 2020 uh, president of Metro Brokers. And I'm Mark Eibner. I'm your president-elect for 2021. So me and Andy are both here today trying to have a more happy motif in our presentation today. So, Andy, let's be a lot more happier. What do you okay. think? Okay. <laughs> I think we need to. So last week we talked about some strategic changes in Metro Brokers. And this week... We're going to kind of, we want to prove to our membership and tr with transparency that we are sticking with our marketing and branding as the number one thing we're going to be doing. So, Andy, why don't you tell us a little bit about that, okay. what, what it is we're trying to do. Our initial focus is spending 75% of all monthly fees on marketing and branding. And that's really what we're going to be talking about today with, uh, I don't think a lot of people know this right now, but maybe we'll just roll it out. Technically right now, Metro Brokers only has one person working in uh, for the administration, office. office and personnel. So we've cut our costs to the bones. And part of why we've cut our cost is what we're talking about today, which is adding to our existing campaign. Our existing campaign consists of trains and billboards. And so we're adding more billboards throughout the state. We're adding more television throughout the state. And we're also going to be adding a social media program. So tell us a little bit about our newer program. The newest Andy. marketing and branding campaign will run through July, August, September, ending in October. And it's going to consist uh, the same as the train. We do have a train running right, right now. We've got billboards at 6 and I-25. Colorado Boulevard, yep. Iliff and Parker, temporarily. We got a free 30-day billboard at Iliff and Parker Road. That's correct. Yeah, and Andy, why don't you tell us about the four new locations for the billboards? And we're going to have billboards in Greeley, Grand Junction, Colorado Springs, Larkspur, and Pueblo. And also, we're going to be adding a little more television to that. We've got KCNC. KMGH, KUSA, we've got Comcast Denver, Comcast Colorado Springs, which also these Comcast networks uh, include Dish Network and Over the Top TV. We've got KDVR in Denver and KXRM Colorado Springs, which are two channels we operate right now, Andy, for some other television that Metro Brokers is doing. So the other thing that won't be more difficult to see because it's not like out in the open is we are starting an extensive social media, media. campaign. Yeah, really good social media campaign. So how is it we're trying to do this and what, what type of changes are we going to make to our by bylaws, Andy? We will have a Tabor amendment uh, for the Metro Brokers uh, bylaws. We have broken it into four buckets, marketing and branding, administration and operations, personnel, employees, and building and leaseholds. These new bylaw caps will place strategic cost caps on all the major silos, including administrative costs, building costs, and personnel costs. The only area that will not be limited to cost containment will be branding and marketing costs. We're trying to exceed right now. Our goals are set. Our initial goals are set for 75%. And that can go up as membership goes up and costs come down. Hey, Mark, only a vote from the membership will allow an increase in any of these uh, three fixed cost silos. Oh, got it. Wow. Okay. Speaking of membership, we will be having bylaw changes that will make all membership in a vote into a voting contingency. Got it. So you're saying that right now we've just got shareholders and that's all and no one else gets to vote, right? That's correct. So I think what we're talking about doing is taking the non-shareholders that exist right now and making them into what we're calling constituents. And the constituents will be combined with our shareholders for us to have a voting block called members or the membership. Yes. And tell us about that membership. What, what are some changes that are going to happen there, Andy? Consider membership. And they will have uh, voting rights on most everything for Metro Brokers. Uh, and other things they can be involved in? Uh, being a part of the Board of Directors, Executive Committee. So all of our members now will be eligible 
Mm -hmm. depending on the, how long they've been with the company. Of course, to be involved in executive leadership at the board of directors level. Uh, some other changes that we have talked about and we talked about in the last Tuesday Tisbit Talks is that we'll be making very strategic changes to the offices. And tell me a little bit about that, Andy. You know, to attract team, uh, teams to be companies, uh, new locations will only need one broker. There will be no minimums. Locations can be anywhere in the state as long as they are not in any single building or contiguous building to an existing office. So how many how many people do you need in an office right now to open up an office? Right now, six. Six. So you need one broker and six and five associates. That's correct. And years ago, what did it take to open up an office? You remember? No, I don't. Yeah, it took six independent company Companies. shareholders. Mm -hmm. Six independent company shareholders. We changed that down to one shareholder and five associates. And really what we're seeing right now is there's a lot of people out there, I think a lot of opportunity for one to three person companies operating out of professional business environments. We're talking about professional business environment and not people's basements. Now this doesn't mean that people that are working from home right now still can't work from home. What it means is new and, uh, and approved offices will be approved to operate in a business environment with uh, business standards, and those will be all set by our bylaws. Uh, wrapping things up here today on Tuesday Tibet Talks, myself and Andy are just trying to stay very transparent with our membership, and let's really try to stick to our original mission, which is spending money on marketing and branding. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, to make any questions easier, please send comments and emails to info at metrobrokerscorp.com. Awesome. See everyone later See next later. Tuesday. Bye-bye, everyone.